Hey everyone, welcome to Camp Mai Mai. I'm Myra and today I'm gonna let you know how this little refrigerator worked for me on my 10 day cross country road trip to the Grand Canyon. Your refrigerator has worked like a champ for 10 days. It's got, got a lot of crap in it, but 10 days and 3,500 miles. Just got back from a 10 day trip. I went to the Grand Canyon, Arches, Bryce Canyon. We actually went to five different national parks, which I'll be posting videos of those soon. I previously had the Ice Co. Go 12 with my teardrop camper. I just recently sold my teardrop camper and I sent that Go 12 along with, with the camper to the new owners because it works so great. So I decided I wanted to order the larger version of the Ice Co, which is called an Ice Co Go 20. Unfortunately, I made the order a little bit too late. It didn't make it in time for my trip. It actually arrived a couple days after I left. So I was left scrambling for a replacement refrigerator to take with me on my trip that I could pick up somewhere locally. I actually found this refrigerator, it's called a Gocher. And I found this on Facebook Marketplace. Someone locally was selling it. It was still in the box. I don't know that they ever even used it. It still has the plastic wrap on it. It was around $150. I'm not sure, I'll have to look up and I'll add links below of how much they are on Amazon. I'm assuming it will be a little bit more expensive than that. But I have got to tell you, this refrigerator worked like a charm. Along with my Goal Zero Yeti 400 power station, this combination worked fantastically for 10 days. This refrigerator never quit in 10 days straight of use. It's pretty easy to use. You just have to set the temperature. Right now it's at 71 degrees. I'm, I'll let you know how long this takes now to get down to about 40 degrees. It's been about 20 minutes and we're at 35 degrees on the refrigerator and 97% on the battery. Now you'll see the output right now is zero. That's because we're not gonna see any output unless the refrigerator, the compressor turns on again. So if it starts to warm up, the compressor and the refrigerator will turn on again. It is at 2.5 amps output. And that is generally what I found the, the whole time. I just charge this with my 12 volt charger when I'm driving. During the day, I charge it with a solar panel that I put on top of my roof. And right now you can see that it takes about two and a half to three amps output for that refrigerator. I kept it set about 40, although you can go lower. I think you could use this as a freezer as well. Then of course at night when we were camping, it just ran off this battery, which was just fine. And I'll show this as well. I have the Goal Zero 50 solar panel and I put that on the roof of my car. And then I have had both of these in my car. This was in front of the passenger seat and this was behind the passenger seat on the floor so it would charge it even when I was at like the Grand Canyon we I didn't move my car for three days and I just th threw the panel on top of my car and it got charged every day by the sun now, of course that requires sun right we had really great weather when we were there I just cracked open the window enough to run the cord from the solar panel into the car that way I could lock the refrigerator and the, the solar battery into the car when I was away from the campsite. So the Gocher 18 liter refrigerator. And I don't think you can get the Goal Zero 400 lithium anymore from their website, but they do sell a 500, which I would, you know, just more power, right? So I would just go with that, with the 500. I'll put a link to that as well. And this really, along with the solar panel and the car charger, was a winning combination for me on my trip. Very much recommended. If you have any questions, please just put them in the comments below. And I would love it if you would like and subscribe to my channel. I plan to do a lot more videos on camping and my next plans for my camper, which I will reveal to you very soon. Thanks so much and have a wonderful day.